Hi there! Welcome to Radiology Chat. Let's chat. Today I come with a very interesting, clever question. Well, it's not my question. You see that in many exam preparation books and uh, yeah. So, what are the main causes for flare hyperintensity along the brain circulation? You can see other formulation like what are the reasons for lack of CSF suppression along the sulci in flare sequence because we know that in flare sequence we, we suppress the CNF, CSF signal from T2. So I'm going to list four main causes for this. Number one on the top of your list is subarachnoid hemorrhage. You never have to forget that one. Number two, congested vein because of venous hypertension or big fat arterial collateralization. Why do we get arterial collateralization? It can be because of atherosclerotic stenotic disease or something cool like moya moya. Read about that if you have never about it, never heard about it. Why do we get venous hypertension? Two main reasons I will never forget are sinus venous thrombosis and arteriovenous fistula, AVF. These two entities can increase the pressure in veins and cause them to congest and you see them as flare hyperintensity along the circulation. Reason number three, leptomeningeal disease. Can be infectious, can be inflammatory, it can be cancerous, doesn't matter. And reason number four, ICU patients on propofol and oxygen. This constellation, ICU patients or critically ill patients getting a lot of oxygen, getting a lot of propofol, they can have this hyperintensity without any other cause, any bleeding, any venous congestion, or any kind of leptomeningeal disease. So here there are four main reasons for flare hyperintensity along the silky. Thanks for watching.